Kane's got a hatchet. Knox has a chainsaw. And your time is up. <laughs> you listen to the 911 call about the aliens. Do you think they were on drugs? Are we in a simulation? Landing on the moon. <sighs> Come on, bro. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> the whole flat earth thing blows my mind. You mean the earth isn't flat? Let's go. Welcome back to another week. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, it's Brit's show today. She's coming in with a lot more notes than me, some ideas. <laughs> this morning I said, I got nothing today. She said, don't worry, babe. I got this. No, I'm going to run the show. You just sit back and relax. So I said I have like two things two? to talk about. Well, I hope they're long, strong, trying to keep the friction on. Okay. I hope you guys are feeling awesome wherever you're at, whether you're in the job, whether you're on the pot, whatever you're doing, hitting the gym. Let's go. Thank you guys for blowing up our Snapchat last week, too. Mine went crazy. Yeah. Crazy. The, 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 we have more Snap views in a few hours than we get on this entire podcast. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming to hang out with us over there. Okay. Question. When I texted you this morning and said it's Shark Week, what did you think? <laughs> have what you did never I think? Heard I've never. If, if it's Shark Week, I assume it's, it's a popular show about sharks. Well, how am I supposed to know what that means? <laughs> Hang on. Does anybody know? If, if Do you know what shark like Shark Week means? Even Chase looks confused. Wait, uh, I mean, traditionally speaking, Shark Week? He's like, Googling on it. Discovery Channel Shark Week? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's... if I text you and said, hey, by the way, it's Shark Week. Oh, wait. Now I know. Okay. Oh, my God. Hang on. If you're listening, <laughs> watching, if your wife, girlfriend said it's Shark Week, what would you assume? That they're menstruating. <laughs> oh, my God. What does that have to do with sharks? Because there's blood? Because there's blood. Where's, there's just blood everywhere. Where's the blood? It's everywhere. Oh, my God. You're not <laughs> okay. swimming. I didn't know how many different sayings <clears throat> there are for being on your period. I didn't either. It, I, I, is there any that you like? Hang on. First of all, <laughs> when you can't hang on. When you said you had topics, is this one of the topics? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Listen, okay, what's one that you know of? I'm on my period. Okay. But the most, my, my favorite, I'm not pregnant. That's not even one I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best sounds a woman can make, period. <laughs> okay. Any of them. Like, you know none. I know Just none. I'm on I mean, my maybe period. if you say them, I'll know, but geez. I mean, okay. I didn't. Shark Week, the time of the month, okay, Tom. of course. Or Tom. Never heard Tom. Time of the month, Tom. I get it. Uh, Aunt Flo. Okay. That's probably the oldest thing I've book, heard that. I feel like. I've heard that. Code Red. Yeah, definitely heard it, but. On the Rag. That's probably the worst one. I always hated. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird that. how certain words are just gross without them being gross? <laughs> like a rag is not gross, but when you say it, it's a gross word. Rag. Right on the rag. I think I always hated when people said that. I I can see that. Bloody Mary. <laughs> God. Because <laughs> Mary, she's bloody. Uh, we should probably have our comment of the of the video early on this episode because I feel like <laughs> nobody's gonna make it to forty five minutes. <laughs> Holy. Okay, lady time? Never heard that one. It's lady time? I'd assume you're sipping on a margarita or Okay, a what daiquiri. about this one? Having the painters in. Never heard that. <laughs> I haven't heard that one either. <laughs> uh, hey, honey, I'm having the painters in. <laughs> Why does there need to be so many different ones? Uh, the blob? Ew. <laughs> Don't ever say you're on the blob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about I'm birthing a bloody diamond? Okay. <laughs> we need to change the topic. Even for me, this is I'm I'm wiggling. I'm getting squirmish. Mm, crimson Tide. Crimson Tide. <laughs> Cuz the crimson is like a dark red, right? Moon Time. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep shooting them out. Is this Chat GPT the red telling badge you? Of courage? <laughs> like, who's providing these? <laughs> the internet. Oh. Checking Reliable. into the red roof in. <laughs> That's just silly. My red wedding. And this one goes to my favorite that I've never heard before is riding the cotton pony. <laughs> First like, of all, tampons are cotton. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like these. Riding the cotton pony. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm riding the cotton pony this week. <laughs> I'm nervous to even bring up what your second topic is. <laughs> I'm I'm being tossed around. The, you know, speaking of shark guys, you see this video of the guy that just recently got killed by the shark. No, I oh. didn't. Oh, it's terrible. You know, Instagram's done a really good job of like, if you see a video and it's blocked out and it says, it's basically like, if you want to watch it, you have to click. Yeah. You have to approve or whatever. I have learned to just not click those. Because today, this happened to me today. I clicked it. It was that shark attack. Terrifying, man. No, I'm. Oh. You know, this stuff happens. I don't click on those. But to have it on video and to watch it. Did he die? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I couldn't imagine. Like, if that happened to someone I know and love, I couldn't imagine that video being out there. Yeah, that's the other side of it. It's disturbing. I watched um, accidentally a guy being mauled by lions once, like to his death. I've never unseen that. Like, there's just certain things you don't want to see humans go through. I just hear power wheels. What is it? All the kids rocking power wheels? Yeah. <laughs> um, Speaking of kids. It's been a rough one. The, the, Thank today. God I'm riding the cotton pony. <laughs> I will say for the first time I'm alive, <laughs> thank God you are too. Um, today, the, the, the only piece that I've had today was coming out here to do this podcast. Aww, my poor baby. The gym wasn't peaceful? Butter me up, baby. No, the gym wasn't peaceful. Sitting um, in the car while I went grocery shopping by myself wasn't peaceful. I sat in the car because I needed peace. I was and I went into REI to finish your Father's Day present shopping, and you just sat in the car and didn't want to join You bought me. me a gift today while I was with you? No, it's just something that goes with the gift that I couldn't ship. Wow. That might give you a clue. Well, good reminder, uh, this coming Sunday is Father's Day. Yeah. And so you want to leave me <laughs> With the I don't want to leave you. I want to go to a car show, this event. Without our children. Yes. Okay, that's... well, I'm not getting a babysitter on Father's Day on Sunday, so you're going to have to go without me. And I said, me. that is my Father's Day gift. Then go without me. <laughs> Just a day looking at cool cars and, you know. You don't think the kids would enjoy that? Some of them. Some of them, but the young ones, you know how these events you just are. just take the double stroller and... It's like going to the zoo for the day, but it's cars so here's instead the of thing. animals. Everything we do is usually uh, we end up doing just what you just said. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes this whole event. Even to get there is an event. Well, you, you want to fly there, the so that's I, a huge event. Yeah, it's at the Ohio State Fair, and I want to land the helicopter. We've already got it We've already got it all planned. They have a spot for me. And how easy would it be to just show up with the kids? <sighs> I just think it'd be nice to get out, make some some content, look at cool cars. Have it's fun. not my fault it's on Father's Day. You're not going to have me to show off with the cars unless you take the kids, so it's up to you. Mm. She <laughs> no <thumbnail>. me. <laughs> she traps me with this. I don't need you. I can make content without you. You think I need you? My, how are, you know how are those views when you didn't use me as your thumbnail? My most viewed snap this week was my helicopter. Mm, I doubt it. Actually, I think it's the one you actually, posted think, on my butt. Actually, I think the... I think the you're doing a good job at sending people to my Snapchat right now. I'll <laughs> tell you that. It wasn't. It was not. Let me see. Right, Let me see your phone. One, okay, the second most viewed was my helicopter. Okay, what was the first one? Me sitting on your lap? It was me and you. Me sitting on your lap. If I'm in the photo, though, I'm creating half. So. Eh, I was sitting like legs spread right oh, off. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. Cotton ponies flying everywhere. <laughs> Just trying to catch one. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Anyways, did you see the – you listened to the 911 call about the aliens. Oh, yeah. What's your thoughts? Oh, my God. I want this stuff – you know what my problem is? I want it to be true so bad, but I know it's fake. Really? I know it's fake. You don't think that's real? I think the call is probably they, real. Do you think they were on drugs? I don't know. I just – I love I, – I, I will one day have an awesome – UFO guest on this show. Like, I want to get deep into this stuff because it's just so oh, cool to me. Hold on. For those I, who don't know, rehash that. What do you mean? Tell it to me because I'm not familiar. You're not familiar with the 911 call saying... It's Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell me the story. Yeah, these um, this this couple out in Las Vegas calls 
nine one one. They and, they shot, saw a green light heading straight, and then it literally crashed in their backyard. Well, their claim was there was like eight to ten foot tall, big eyed something in their backyard after a crash. And I'm I'm listening to this like, please be real. I want to see this. I gotta see. Yeah, this. they're like they're not human. They have really big eyes. They're like eight to ten feet tall. To me, it's like the coolest thing ever. I'm ready for an invasion. Like I'm I'm set up for it. Yeah, I've got the 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 militia, the food supply, the helicopter. Like I'm ready to go, right? Like I'm ready for this, but it's always fake. And I feel like every every single UFO shot ever created was filmed with the first flip phone. There's never a good there's never good video. Yeah, why don't they have video of this? But I truly, regardless, you get so much crap on those dumb nest cams and those the brain cams. Right? There's nothing. When you, when you saw this Vegas shot was like actually captured by a police cam, like on on the you know the ones they wear on their chest. Mm, yeah, no. It was just randomly caught in the background. But there was twenty six other people in the area said that they saw the green light. I want it to be true. I, like, yeah, where's all the where's all the Nest cam footage? Where's where's right. the wreckage? Where you know? I don't know. I, I you did see that Elon Musk did an interview and he said that. He doesn't believe that there are aliens. And if anyone would know, he would know. I know, and it breaks my heart. You know, you know Elon should know. Right? But then you have all these 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 big wigs coming out like uh we have aircraft, not man made, in our possession. Right. Right? Like you have all these things. Even the what was that the Pentagon last year came out and said that there yeah. they have some type of craft that wasn't manufactured on Earth. Something like that. I don't have mm -hmm. the wording right. But yeah, I think I think the UFO stuff is so fascinating. I think outer space is fascinating. I think it's just so strange. It really messes with your mind when you think about where we are, right? Well, there was another thing said that <clears throat> um, they got like a signal from the middle of the Milky Way that they think is from aliens saying hello. Did you see this? No. Hello. You it's, think that's the only thing they'd send? It's like something hello. weird changes in the Milky Way and it's like lights or something. And it's like... Mm. They're saying hello, like we exist. We're out in the middle of the Milky Way. I've I I've told the story before, but I have witnessed something in the sky myself firsthand. I think I think I've told this. I don't really want to get into it again, but it it made me a believer in that there's something else out there. Yeah, it was enough for the rest of my life. I was I was you know maybe thirteen. I don't know how old I was. I was young, but I witnessed this. Me, and my friend, witnessed it together, and it was just enough. To, for for the rest of my life, what I did you, what did you witness? Everyone wants to know. Just now. Uh, 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 we were playing hide and seek at the apartment complex. Mm -hmm. All of us, friends. Um, was Chase there? No, no. Mm, wasn't Chase? I'm making up my friends. Right. Oh, I don't remember any of this. Chase was your only friend growing up. They were no. in. They were in the apartments. Um, the across from the were? factory. How tall were they? I never seen aliens, but. Me and my friend Curtis were hiding back behind this row of apartments, kind of by a staircase, and up above us was this crazy fast light, like crazy colors, enough for both of us to look at each other, shocked out of our minds. It really quickly went above us, not that high, and shot straight down in the woods like that. We ran full speed into our parents. We just saw some blah, 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 blah. We're freaking out. My dad, by himself, hikes this empty cornfield all the way back to the woods. He never came back, did He's he? He's gone for a while. It's pitch black. <laughs> Only my dad would do this. Mm -hmm. He comes out of the woods. You can just barely see him. It's kind of far. And he's walking towards us, straight-faced. Won't. He's just walking. We're like, Dad, what'd you see? What'd you see? He won't answer. He won't say anything. He's just walking towards us. He does this all the way past us. That all of us, all the families, all the kids were all, Dad, what happened? What did, what did you see? And he's just straight-faced, walks past us, ignores us the whole time. And he plays this off until we get, I think we were like back to the apartment. And then he just starts cracking up laughing. He's like, I got you. He's like, I didn't see nothing. Hmm. But maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he was told he wasn't allowed to see anything. Maybe, th maybe they hit him with the men in black whistle. Oh. The, not the whistle, the light. Bam. Yeah. I don't know. That moment made me believe in there's something else out there. I don't know why they're in Millersport, Ohio, landing in a little pair of woods, but yeah. 
I don't know. Okay, that's all I had. So let's cut it at 17 minutes. Oh my <laughs> god! All right, what's the what's the comment for today at 17 minutes? If you're still listening. <gasps> um. <laughs> I don't know. Cotton ponies. Cotton ponies. <laughs> Today's comment is cotton ponies. Um, if you're still listening, comment cotton ponies. That's our... We're not going to 45 today. We're going to go to 18. Not even. <laughs> it's like 16 minutes. Um, so... so last week after the podcast, I wanted to go RV shopping. What happened? I put my foot down. <laughs> Have you sold the helicopter yet? Mm-mm. You need to sell that so we can get it. RV. Working on it. I think it's sold. I think it's sold. I'll tell you who's buying it. So once we it can. Sells. So we can go get an RV now. But it's it's really cool. Who's buying it? It's really cool. What's um, your thoughts on like a fifth wheel, like a truck with a pole behind trailer? Hate it. Really? Because you don't know how to drive it. Is that why? I definitely wouldn't be good at driving it. But you're kind of stuck with it. What do you mean? You unhook it and then you have your vehicle. Hmm. But like, I think I think they're a lot cheaper and they're a lot more roomy. I think part of RVing to me is that you're driving and hanging out in the RV. Yeah. Right. And if if you're in a truck, you're not. All your kids aren't back in the RV. Mm -hmm. Right. You're all in the truck. So now you're just in a truck. You're safer. And you're only in that RV to sleep or hang out or park. You're safer, and they're in their car seats and. Last time we last time we went in the RV, I remember you like making a huge deal about me having to put car seats in. Yeah, it's awful. It's awful. If I think if you those things are made out of paper. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. It, it doesn't seem like when you lag a car seat into a truck, it's there. It's locked in. But I think if an RV flips or tips or gets smashed, like those things dust. Yeah, you seen videos least... of them? They just like magic shows. Just That's what explore. I'm saying. Like, why not get a nice truck and then pull behind a big camper? Because I want to hang out the entire time. You're going to be I driving. I think you guys can agree with me. Like, you, you you, hang out in an RV while you drive. You know, you walk around, you sit at the table, you play games, you you cook. You... So you're just going to hire a driver? No. I'm not even going to get an RV. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a dead end road for you. I will have my RV. And I will be in Florida. I think, Driving around this winter, I think homeschooling once my kids. <laughs> just check in on me every few weeks. Maybe. Maybe. Imagine. I'll come home when the crimson tide is. <laughs> oh. The crimson tide. I don't think we have a lot of. You know, I would like to ask that right now. If you're a female and you're watching, I'd like to know because. I think we're at like an 80-20 male to female on this podcast right now. So now all the males will have something funny to say when they're girls. <laughs> you know? So funny. So edgy. What was your favorite one? The cotton pony. <laughs> that's There's just nothing gross about cotton. Like, that's just a clean, dry. Well, what about when it's bloody? And a pony's fun. So a cotton pony just sounds like something I want to ride. You know? Maybe I'll take a ride. What about a red cotton pony? A used pony? <laughs> Oh my God! There was this video. That gives a whole dude, a whole new definition to road hard and put away wet. Oh boy, Ugh. road hard and put away wet. Yikes! That's scary. Mm. There's this video <laughs> that killed me. I'm gonna have to find it and show it to you. But it's they're like singing Happy Birthday, and then a guy goes and picks a girl up on his shoulder. She has like a short little mini dress on. She gets oh, and off, it's stuck to it. and the pad is stuck that to his back. To, that has to be scripted, right? I don't know. It has to be scripted. It's it's too. I would never do that. I watched that video and I I was like, I'm skeptical. Yeah, because normally it's stuck to your underwear. I'm step I'm skeptical on all videos, but like you know that right? That was so like, it was so well done. Yeah. Right. And th- aren't they singing Happy Birthday? Yeah. Why mid birthday would you? I don't know. It's a good on. video. It's a good video. I mean, it's it is what it is. But real or fake, it's great video. I don't care. Did you know the pad that it sticks to the underwear? I feel like most guys don't know that or didn't know that. What if she didn't have underwear on? Then you can't wear a pad. <laughs> really? It requires underwear. Yeah. I thought I thought maybe it stuck to like the top and back of your body, <laughs> no. just to secure it. 
No, no it sticks to your underwear like a diaper. So it's literally like a diaper. It's riding the cotton pony. <laughs> I thought the cotton <laughs> pony was a tampon. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But oh, my gosh. I'm learning a lot. I'm 40 years old. But you've never had to deal with it. I've never had to deal with it. You don't menstruate. Thank You're God. a man. I think, like, throughout... I think every guy at some point is like, man, I wish I was a girl for a day. You know? A lot, a lot of guys say that now. But <laughs> I feel like... Every but every guy's like can that. We, can, oh, if I was a chick, I would, I would, yeah, you, you know, blah blah blah. But that's the one part. Day. That's the one part about being a girl that I feel so bad for you guys, because it's rough. It's the not, one part is menstruating. Yeah, because it's a whole. It's not How about having a child and carrying it for nine months. It's not just. Yeah, but you can choose that. Having a period, you're, can you? You have to do it, and. It's not just five days or a week or whatever. It's like the week before, too, is tough. Y'all are emotional. Well, technically, if your hormones are balanced, you shouldn't, your mood really shouldn't change, and you should only menstruate for two days and two not have days. cramps. Yeah. When I was at, like, my fittest, when I would, like, train really good and I felt really good, it'd be, like, not even three days. I do remember that. It was, Whoa. like, super, super light. So you light. think it's, like, diet-related and things like that? thousand make it worse it's based on your hormones and all of your diet is what controls your hormones yeah i do remember you being like two days three days in you're like oh, my period's done i'm like what yeah okay okay so the That's healthier so bad. the healthier you are the least crampy you are the least moody you are the least mm. flowy you are <laughs> it's all based on your hormones and how balanced and good your hormones are well, I'm glad I ain't got to deal with it. That is not pleasant. I don't like bleeding. Period. <laughs> 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 what else is new? How's my lips look? They're dissolving. They're Just thinking another another own. 40 episodes, they'll be back to normal. I saw a picture. And I showed you. I was like, are you ready for my lips to look like that again? They were just like nothing. Oh, my gosh. Is that a weekly update on Britt's lips? I, I I think they look nice right now. Like they look nice. They're not they're not like overdone. You can you can see when uh, a girl has fake lips. I think it's the fake part that turns me off. You know when it's really? when it's overdone. Yeah, but I'm well, like well, I don't. But, I've literally <clears throat> only ever done a half of syringe. Most girls do a full syringe. Yeah, but you can tell. Like, you can look at girls and be like, she's got big filler in her lips. And I think I've always been more attracted to natural looks. For real. Mm -hmm. I love when you don't wear makeup. You don't take pictures of me when I don't wear makeup? You won't let me. <laughs> Hang on, use this filter. Hang on, use this filter. Hang on, use this filter. <laughs> You're the one that literally out by the chicken coop. I almost called you out for it the other day. For what? You looked blue because whatever filter you were using. Blue? Yeah. I don't use filters, first of all. It lies. I use like a little color filter, but not to like I, skin tone. Yeah. Changing it to blue. Everything's changes fake. Your skin tone. Everything's fake. When you look like this, you need filters. You don't need filters. But you don't use them. You have butterflies on your face every yeah, time. Yeah, so snap. it's very clear that I have a filter on. I don't like using the ones that you can't tell. Facetune app or whatever. Yeah, I like, was taking a picture. This is a true story. I was taking a picture the other morning. It's like good morning snap. I literally just downloaded this app. She's like, hang on, no, 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 no. I wanted to try it. Use my phone. I have this app. I'm like, and then you took the photo. You're like, oh, it looks too fake. I'm like, yeah. I've never tried it. That's what everyone uses. That's what every Instagram girl uses to edit their photos. I've never done it. Except the one time. I don't know. I, I, I think you got to just embrace it. You don't You don't trust me. I did try to get my hair cut today before this podcast because I look hideous. <clears throat> you know, the, the headphones hide the grays, though. <laughs> totally. It does. It does. 100%. M most, most. Days. I mean, I what do you see, see little, like here? Little silver strike right there. But without? Wow. I mean, at least I'm 40 now. I can, I can actually say I'm getting older. 
It's crazy. When I was young, I remember thinking, like, <laughs> it sounds like a herd of bees coming in. <laughs> it's the kids just trying to get in here, just to just. Your time is up. <laughs> you know, you know, Kane's got a hatchet, and Knox has a chainsaw, and Knox had a leaf blower the other day. It was. You know what? The kids, really the kids really have been at their best lately. I think yeah, that still no iPads. We've done really freaking good. We have done awesome, and it has paid off. I know we, we keep saying this each episode. They actually have been good. I think my patience is just weak right now. Like, I have, I have, I have a little patience. Yeah, if I was I, only as thin as my patience. I think as, I think as soon as, as soon as I'm, I'm able to fully shut off and focus family, very happy. Yeah, it's but like if, today when we had something to do, I can't, I can't go help you eat. I can't go make you shower. I can't go help you do these things. And it's on me that I get frustrated with myself because I plan other things. It's a mental thing for me. Like I can't sometimes completely shut off, whatever that means. If I'm thinking about uh, content, podcast, Snapchat, whatever it is, while I'm with the family, I get stressed out because I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I could be doing this. I could be doing this. But you if could I be going to a car show by if yourself. I completely shut off family mode, I'm very happy. Very happy. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad having four kids. <laughs> so are we going to the car show or not? You guys are going to have to tune in Sunday uh, evening to Snapchat to see if we all make it to the car show or not. Or come to the event. It's uh, it's at the Ohio State Fair this Sunday. I, th I think it's till like 5 p.m. Hmm. It's going to be dope. Dope. Maybe. I don't know. Is my car going to be there? It could be. <laughs> we could lower it in with the helicopter. Like you need a big helicopter. That up. Dude, that thing weighs like 7,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. I love my car. You need a Chinook. A chin up. I hate that car. Guys, don't get a G-Wagon. I'm going to give you three reasons right okay, now. Okay, don't drive it again then. You literally just drove it all week. I don't like it. I don't. Number one, you have to slam the doors. Slam. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, you have you to do. slam them. They're all just mechanical. That's what I tell everybody. First time in the car, I'm like, slam the door. And they look at me like, I'm not slamming this door. I slam it. It still stays open. All doors. You have to slam it. Like, boom. And then if you're in the car and somebody's getting out, they have to slam it. Like, you're just inside. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Um, yeah. Even the back door is, like, really heavy and you have to really slam it's it. It's just a big old, like, old-fashioned dinosaur. Like, you can't, there's no, like. That's the one thing I don't like is it doesn't have the keyless entry. Yeah, I mean. Like, you have to hit unlock, unlock, lock on the key and yeah. not just walk up and push the button to unlock it. Yeah, like a, a, a base model Honda Civic has better doors. It does. Number two, gas sucks. Oh, cry me a river. You got to put gas in the car. Every day. Every no, day. you don't. We, every time we drive, I'm like, wow, we don't have to get gas today. Oh, so we don't have to get gas every that mean, day. That means we drove <laughs> 10 miles. The, the thing is a guzzler. Yeah. It's a guzzler. It's a 7,000-pound super truck. So how many horsepower? It's better than sitting and charging it for 45 minutes. It's like it's I'd like, rather put gas in it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't complain about gas, but that is a, for most people, they don't want to deal with that. It sucks. So uh, I had a third reason. I had a third reason. What was my third reason? <laughs> I can't think of a third the, reason. The bugs on the windshield. Every oh, the square, <laughs> the square body is so anti aerodynamic that it just eats up every. You guys can't believe how different just a little angle on a windshield makes. Mm -hmm. It's almost straight up, so you eat every bug, every insect, everything just splats. It's hard to see sometimes. Don't buy a G-Wagon. <laughs> Other than that, it's amazing. It's got tons of power. It's great. The only thing that matters is you that- You drive it more than G your GTR or your truck that you had to have. And now it just sits and sits and sits and takes up space. It's a like, collectible, honey. Oh my gosh, this Maybe truck. it's a collectible. You don't drive collectibles. <laughs> the only thing that matters is that you're So I should take the insurance off of it? What did I ask you the other day? I was like, do you still love this? And you said, I love it. And I said, that's yeah. all that matters. Okay. Because it really is your car. I don't, I don't care. All right. 
I'm Stop just, driving. I'm nothing. just warning people. It's Stop just... wasting my gas. Now, if you take it out, you better fill it up. I did. I just did. Didn't nuh uh. It's at a half a tank. That's because you drove it down the driveway. <laughs> no. I literally just came back and said, hey, I filled your car up. No, you got it washed, which I told you not to go to an automatic oh wash. Yeah. Can't do anything right in marriage, guys. Just know if you're getting if you're getting into that marriage life, you'll never ever be right. You're... My house marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want an RV. I think I just want a simpler life. Yeah. You know, it's hard to believe, but Britt and I come from very simple lives. And now it's not so simple. And we're both kind of hitting an age where... We don't want to deal with it. You just don't want to deal with it. Mm-mm. There, there is a, there is, there is beauty to that simple life. There really is. Once it gets really complicated, you kind of lose, you lose that, uh, you lose that beauty. You lose that peace. You're spending more time during your day worrying about all the details of your complicated life. You're not able to really stop and smell them roses. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think we're both attracted to that trailer park life that we grew up in. It's I was simple. looking at trailers. Mama wants me to buy her a trailer. You know, there's <laughs> dope trailers out there. <gasps> dope oh. trailers. See like the million dollar trailer park homes? The trailer parks, million dollar trailer parks. They're dope. I would like, live there happily. Like in California? Yeah. I'm saying I would live there happily. They're million dollar trailers. <laughs> like, come on. But um, but yeah, yeah. It, it, it does sound weird, but... um. Simple life's not bad. Mm-mm. I think everyone's grinding to get that complicated life because it is attractive. Like the, the things you get with the complicated life is attractive. Yeah. What, whatever that is, whatever that is to you. But I think we're both ready to simplify. Yeah. I finally showed this week, I finally showed the new birdhouse, the new garage at the house with the, um, and I got so many comments. It's like, you were just talking about selling your house and then you just built this. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't thought out. It's no. just like I need a place for this. Build for it. my five helicopters. Build I it. Have. And then uh it's built and we're both like, you know, wouldn't it be nice to just build a house in the woods and be be done with it? <laughs> yeah, even if we built like <laughs> like I literally want a small cabin in the woods and we have woods to build it. But where would you put your helicopter? I don't know. That's another problem. It's just another problem, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you put your helicopter? What if your house was your your birdhouse, and your your living quarters were upstairs? Your helicopter's downstairs. That thing smokes upstairs, too much. That'd be super awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but get out of that thing. If you're, thing if you're building like, a house in the woods, you know you need a pretty big area to to drop a helicopter. You clear a few trees out, you know, drop yeah. right in there, like a little Batmobile type situation. I like it. I like it. Secret agent. I'll be back. The whole house is shaking. All the trees are coming down. <laughs> I, I like the idea of... Uh, the, I know. I think it's your helicopter. I happen If to, you kept the smaller one, I the know. Robinson, I think it would... The black helicopter you guys have been seeing me <sighs> fly is wildly aggressive. I was trying to take that video of you last night, and it was literally blowing me over. I had to shut didn't my video eyes. It. You didn't get it. Because you couldn't land. Babe. You couldn't Shut land up. on the pad. It so was like I have, five um, minutes later. I'm like, all right, I can't. To move the helicopter, I have to land on a, uh, it's it's a dolly, basically. And it's hooked to my ATV. And I have to land on this dolly to pull it into the garage. This was my first time ever landing on the dolly. <laughs> it's butt puckering, dude. It is. If you've never landed on a dolly, I've landed on that size ground forever yeah but when it's a dolly it's up off the ground it's tricky it yeah, is there's so a couple tricky. times like your back plate was like right on the edge i'm like oh my god is this where we die <laughs> it was just me in the helicopter i did this solo um i never once felt unsafe i just wanted it perfectly straight on the dolly and i would kind of touch down and then i would a lack of right pedal lowering that collective it, i'd want to turn a little bit and i'd just pick it back up retry and I, I what four or five tries to get it straight 10 was not 10 <laughs> it it was a lot i don't know it took a while so listen to this my cfi has thousands of hours in a helicopter 
he's never landed on a dolly. So I've already landed on more dollies than him. Oh, okay. But here's the thing, guys. I bought a huge dolly. Ours that I was struggling with mm -hmm. is huge. Really? You should see the dollies. Like if I take it for maintenance that you have to land on. They're tiny. They're just enough for your skids. That's it. And I also think the number one cause of helicopter accidents is dollies. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, I'm glad I was standing that's, so close that's, recording. <laughs> that's why I got a huge one. I've, it's it's safe. It's safe. But for your first time, it's yeah, it's it's a little sketch. But I never felt that I didn't have control of the helicopter. I thought, I never for, felt... I thought for sure you were just going to take it in the field, sit it down, and be like, no, I'll wait for no, my no, no, CFI no. to come help me. No, no, no. I, ha I had it. I just wanted it perfect. To land on it's no problem. But to get it perfect, mm. that's, what I wa that's why I kept picking up and moving. Mm-hmm. Which I did. But she's out there recording. She sends me the video. Didn't get it. No, because I was like, maybe he needs my, like, I grabbed my cones. I was like, up there, just <laughs> yeah, the lights. directing. <laughs> this side. I, I wish. I, I was wish. like, maybe he needs my help of, like, showing him where the center of this thing is because he I'm can't not gonna, get it. I'm not going to be lying. I would be <clears> embarrassed <throat> to release that video if I had it. I would. Cause oh, no, I know, because I posted a picture of you <laughs> on it, and you're like, oh, you posted? <laughs> like, I thought you were literally, had pooped your pants thinking I had posted that video of you not being able to land. The reason I do like things like that is because in a year from now, when I'm just flying in and dropping on that, I'll be like, you remember when I, I was like a squirrely on this thing? Me too, you see me try and land on it. <sighs> you guys, flying a helicopter is freaking a dance. Is that where we're going tomorrow to meet the guy so I can start my lessons? It is so wildly tricky and in a hover is something I can't explain. And then the dolly kind of like, um, it, it's called in ground effect. That's basically when you're in a hover and the, the rotors are creating its own cushion of air. So it hovers. But that dolly, I swear, threw that cushion off and it was making it a little squirrely. That's what it was. It wasn't mm -hmm. me. Squirrely. Squirrely cush. Ricky. <laughs> Squirrely cushion. <laughs> anyway, the black helicopter is very aggressive. I would feel like... Like you're going to fly that into the fair? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's just going to be cows flying <clears throat> and horses up in no, the air. No, it's not that bad, but it, it does make a mess if you're, if you're landing in somebody's backyard. It's got a lot of downwash. I walked into the sauna today for a stay back in the gym, and I don't know how long. And I hear, Hey! I turn around, it's your wife. <laughs> She's uh, just in the sauna. She hadn't been in the gym for a minute, actually. Same. And we just I was excited literally to were see both in the sauna at the same time. Gym. Yeah. Um, we're back at the gym today, yeah. Monday. I know. All the trainers are like, wow, I haven't seen you in a while. I know. Well, they <laughs> I used know. to see us three days a week, and now <laughs> it's, been, it's been weeks. Hey, I've been doing Pilates. Like, I haven't just not been doing anything. You know what would have been a lot easier for me? If I would have just shot for fat by 40, that would have been way easier. Not even close to fat. No, I'm saying if I would have went for that. I went for fit by 40. Well, yeah, it's easier being fat. Well, it would have been more enjoyable too because I'm, I'm trying to just eat like the right foods and like they suck. They taste so bland. It's boring. Okay. So I've been working with a nutritionist with us, with the kids, everything. Mm. We're taking baby steps on trying to get everyone's gut in the right order so what we did was we took away wheat one simple ingredient we took away wheat we've had like all the food dyes stuff like that out for a while yo don't why don't you talk plastic. On, why don't you talk on that for one second because we just witnessed a miracle in our house okay that's what i'm saying the red food oh, dye. the red dye guys i thought this was the dumbest thing ever even from me who's been trying to get healthy for over a year now Get, we haven't had the red dye in our house yo, for a while. Yo, just try this if you got kids. Or notice it. Look at the ingredients. If it has red dye in it. Red 40 or red 3. If it has red dye in it. Which red 3, they're getting ready to legally ban. It's banned in most other countries. Just before you call me stupid or a conspiracy theorist, take it out and watch the difference in your kids. We just, uh, we just tried this night and day. Not only that. Cora just had some of that red dye. We went to um, a gender reveal, and she had some Doritos and a cupcake. Which, by the way, this stuff's in everything. 
it's it's out there. Like you, yeah. it, it's not hard to find. Something in your house right now has it. Lots of things probably have it. Don't let them have it. Just watch. Watch their attitude. It's but, incredible. But see their attitude. It, it depends on the kid. Normally, it's an hour or two hours after with the Red 40. You see them literally just fall apart. They fall apart. Fall apart. Hey, guys, Cora I, fell apart for an hour and a half I, for no reason was just crying. I literally thought this was the dumbest thing. I was like, it's not that. It's not that. I witnessed it firsthand. Try it. Let me know. Um, some of you watching right now, you're like, oh, I'm already, I'm already ahead of this. I've been doing that. There's so many substitutes. The chips I bought, they literally said you can't taste a difference from Doritos. Like, Our kids love those chips. Yeah. They have, there's no wheat. So, yeah. so we just recently removed all the wheat. So we're still doing rice. You can find rice flour, almond flour. Uh, there's a few other flours that, that we're still working on. Yeah. We're in the process of just trying like what works best in our house? Um, you guys did uh, what was that test? The blood test? Oh, the food sensitivity test. You guys all did food sensitivity tests. Yeah, and multiple of the kids was wheat. Kane's top three things was all three different wheats: gluten, wheat, whatever. It was literally all of that. Cora's was soy, but also wheat. It's so strange, um, man. Like. You wouldn't think these things affect people. Like, you just eat it. But it does. It's just it's not crazy. what it used to be back in the day when it first became a piece of wheat. It's not that anymore. Yeah. Well, everything's highly processed now. Yeah. But we've been working on getting wheat out, and it's been, what, two weeks? We've gone out to eat a couple times. It's, like, the only times where we've probably had it. And everyone's already doing so much better. Yep. I agree. Facts. So much better. Um, it looks like a Celsius ad on the table right now. Sorry. Like, I mean, it's been 40 minutes of that. I wouldn't worry about it. Celsius, uh, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> we need a sponsor. Oh, camera four looks good. Okay. I was just thinking, man, is that our only close-up? All right. Um, Let's get into some conspiracy stuff. Oh, God. You're trying I, to get us canceled, aren't no. you? No. No. I would hate to go live in the woods. You little me. cartoon. <laughs> um, obviously, conspiracies are a great topic because you're either in on it or you're not. I happen to love conspiracies. I think yeah. they're cool. I don't really have a... Some of them are cool. Some of them, I think, are uh, No. too far. No, like a cool conspiracy to me is like, are we in a simulation? And right. you start watching videos. There's videos out there on YouTube right now that you would watch and you'd be like, we're in a simulation. Yeah. No, I think that and, all the time. And then there's, you have same similar vibes with like the moon landing. You could go right now and watch a documentary that would have you completely convinced that we did not land on have the moon. Have you seen the video saying that NASA's actually in a stage underwater? They film everything underwater. But that's what I mean. I love this stuff. I know. I believe it 100% <laughs> after watching that video that NASA is actually in a pool of water and not in outer space. There's videos uh, that will have you believe in that it's facts. There's videos that will have you mm, believe it's false. That's a good conspiracy. Like the moon landing is fantastic because uh, I don't believe we landed on the moon. Yeah. But I've watched some of these docs and movies that have me convinced we didn't land on the moon. But have you ever seen the ones that convince you that they have? Because I haven't seen those. Um, I have. I've, I've tried to watch both sides. I've just concluded that we didn't. I mean, look at the thing that landed on the moon. That, that thing don't look like it could land anywhere. And we can't land on the moon again, right? I don't think we have. And uh, like they had better cell connection when they landed on the moon than we have now. Yeah, it was like, live streamed. I can't even. I can't even call right? you half the time on FaceTime. Without static, but they're... FaceTime's getting worse and worse, I swear. They're live streaming from the moon. I don't buy it, but I could be wrong. Maybe we did. I don't think so. That moon landing ship was so funny looking, dude. It's like aluminum foil and, and coat hangers landing on the moon. <sighs> Come on, bro. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> um, but there's some there's some good ones. There's some serious ones. There's... um. The the most recent that I've seen is this these Canadian wildfires. Have you seen this stuff? 
Like our whole city was yeah. smoky this last and week. And they had us like worried about the air pollution. I was like, should we go outside today? And then I went outside Heck and yeah, it was we beautiful. Nah, I, I ain't into all that. Unless a nuke goes off, I'm going outside. And even if a nuke goes off, we're, put, we're bundling up. <laughs> you I got the, our iodine. You put the we suit on. You, um, no, but these, these wildfires are throwing conspiracies because of the, the style of the fire. Have you seen this stuff? Brett, are you te- who are you talking? I'm I'm looking it up to see like what the actual conspiracies are. Well, it's just that whether or not um, over a hundred fires can start simultaneously all throughout a large area at the same time. If you look at like the heat maps, it's like it's almost like they all started together. It wasn't like a fire started and then another fire started. It was like right. they kind the- of all plume up. The thing that I saw the biggest thing was all of the uh, what's the, what's the thing that was stolen or magically disappeared off a train. Tannerite, uh, ammonium nitrate, or something like that. Ammonium. Yeah, that was like became missing like so much of it, and then two hundred ninety tons of it. Yeah, and th- and then they snuck it into Canada for a wildfire. I don't know, but when it burns, it makes an orange glow, and that was all of New York was just completely orange. And they say it was smoke from the fires, but I mean, I just don't see how smoke can go from Canada to New York. <laughs> well, pretty easily. No, 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 to cover it that much. I don't know. But that's that's been like the latest conspiracy. Like, wouldn't you think that's how it would look like in Canada and not in New York? I don't know. I don't and know. And there were so many people that lived in upstate New York and they're like, this would have passed by my house, and I haven't seen anything. Mm. It was well, there, just like in the city. There's, there's been some wild ones, right? Like they, they put up the smoke screen. What was the one you were talking about? Oh, the saying that they put up a smoke screen so we couldn't see the Russian, uh, <laughs> the Russian boats coming in off the coast. Yeah, I mean, you gotta love. People really do come up with people the that start things. all this stuff, and and then the ones that buy into it, or the. I don't know, man. I feel like a lot of conspiracies have have been coming true lately. <laughs> Um, but I just think they're fun. I think they're fun to get lost in something you don't know. You know, you just, I don't know, something attractive about not knowing, but think, you know, the problem is, is nowadays your opinions are hate. Truth is hate. Everything's hate unless you agree fully with somebody. And that's where you, where it gets hard to talk about anything. You know, you don't want to say anything because people are going to hate you. For an opinion or truth, even if you're dead right, even if you're 100% right, it'll get labeled as hate. So say like these wildfires are just the start. Say God says he'll never flood the earth again, right? Mm. The next time it'll be by fire, does right? He, does he say that? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't know. Um, What do you do pre- to prepare for that? Like what do you do as like a... For the second coming? No. Repent. That would be that would be nice. Repent. <laughs> no, I'm saying a second coming would be nice. But uh, for, what do you say? Like the world catches on fire. Well, how do you prepare? You yeah. gas mask. Well, air purifier. Like there's um there's e- these elite bunkers. Have you seen these? These giant underground. The fields of just like it looks I like a hotel. I mean, it sure looks like somebody's preparing for something. I think if if it's scorched earth, we're we're all goners. Yeah. Like, what what is the common normal? human gonna do you're out you're you're like fire's not something you just throw on a gas mask and run through like it's over unless you've got a dope bunker underground bunker branding we're gonna have to go there bunker branding yeah i think that um i think if it i think if it's time for that it's time like you just count it yeah no i'm not talking about a second coming because i don't think there's any hope for anybody at that point well, um, half the population, according to the scriptures. <laughs> that there's hope for or not hope for? You need to read Revelations. That is the dopest book on earth, dude. It is awesome. It's cool. You're not answering my question. <laughs> well, in the second coming, it just kind of explains that, you know, those that 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 follow Jesus properly will be be safe from this and there will be a rapture and it's like half the population will be you know 
protect. But first, there has to be a lot of disaster. There has to be a lot of pain and death and suffering. It's it's all written, right? Yeah. So we have to go through these things. Biblically, you have to go through it to get to this point. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of cool like revelations that I've seen. Seems like it's coming to pass. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. We could do a whole episode on that stuff, but yeah, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't believe in heaven and hell, and and which I do think is funny that a lot of people that claim God is fake has like the devil and six 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 in their Twitter bio. Yeah, right. It's I like if you believe in the devil, you should believe in God. I would think, but that's a weird one for me. That's a weird one for me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Um, okay, what I'm saying is, say there's these fires are happening now all the time. Mm. How do you prepare? Did you see what I bought in the garage? <laughs> what was that? Uh, Air purifier? Uh, that's going to... I don't know, because those days that it was smoky, like, everyone had headaches. Everyone woke up stuffy. Yeah, I mean... I mean so, I'm like, the, maybe if, we just need an air purifier. If the air is not... If the air is not clean, you're going to have side effects. So, it makes sense. If people had headaches, they weren't feeling good. Mm-hmm. Or it's just all mental, and they're like, oh, my God, there's smoke. No, I'm talking about our kids. Like, woke up with stuffy noses. And... Cor got chicken pox. <laughs> what was in the air? <laughs> She's currently got the chicken pox. She's doing good today. She's all dried up today. Yeah, she's doing good today. That sucks. You think the other kids are going to get it? Mm, hopefully. I feel like they need to. <sighs> it's such a double-edged sword because you're like, you want well, them to get it. Let's not talk about this. You want them to get it to get it over with, but you don't want them to get it because it's it, it can be hell. You want to get on this? No, I just always thought for some reason that if you had chicken pox as a kid, you didn't get shingles as an adult. But I'm wrong. You can you you can still get shingles as an adult. They say that if you get the whole reason behind getting chickenpox as a kid is so you're immune to it. Your body knows how to fight it off because right. that virus always lays dormant in your system. It's always going to be in your system. Mm. It's whether it comes to the surface or not. Yeah, I don't know. Just as a kid, I was like, oh, I want chickenpox. I got to get this over with so I don't get shingles. But that's not true. It is. People still get shingles and they had bad chicken pox. They do, but they don't get it as bad as they did if they didn't ever have the chicken pox. Mm. Interesting. I don't know. I, th- I thought that was bogus. I felt ripped off getting the chicken pox. Yeah. I was like, dang it. I still could get this, but it wouldn't be as bad. I don't Supposedly. know. Supposedly. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a lot of weird. Like Noah just had the shingles. Yeah. and He, he had... was he was vaccinated for the chicken pox. And had the chicken box terribly, terribly, terribly. As One a of kid. the worst I ever seen. And has already had shingles. One of the worst I ever seen. The kid had it on his eyeball. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that was possible. Is that I didn't possible? Either. Oh my god. But it just shows you that. I don't know. You just do your best at what you believe and what you think is best for your kids. And I, I think that. They should have the chicken pox as kids and they get over that virus and. Yeah. I mean, I remember wasn't ch- having chicken pox parties a real thing. Yeah. Like everyone would bring their kids. So many people were like, oh, I wish we didn't have this or I'd bring my kids over to play with Cora this week. Yeah. But back in the day, I literally, feel like they had like gatherings. So all the kids just got it. And then and then you have those. Yeah. Unions. And then the vaccine came out. And I also people... didn't know that that is in your body for life. Yeah, that's cr- our body. There's lots of crazy. There's lots of viruses that just stay dormant in your yeah, body. Yeah, that's crazy. Like mono, I think mono is one of them. For real? Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing about this stuff. I, do, I had mono, but I don't want to really get on this. I topic. had mono. It was terrible. Well, it's still in your system. It was one of the worst sicknesses I can remember in my life. Like my glands and my neck were so huge and swollen and at the end of it when it was finally leaving the medicine i was on threw an entire hive across my whole body Hmm. thick and sure enough doctor's like yeah that's a side effect of the medicine it was awful i'll never forget that itch in my life i will never forget did you get it it because you were kissing a girl that's what everyone said but (laughs) man she said she did not have it. <laughs> I, no, I really don't know how I got it. I really don't. Um, it's just a virus. Yeah. 
but it's forever? Mm-hmm. Mono stays in your system wow. dormant. Interesting. Let me fact check that real quick. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be like, eh, it won't matter because they can just take it out. They'll just cut your fact check out. Right? Um, It's not mono. Mono's not... Mono's not... It's not the, the scientific term. Yeah. What's the yes. worst sickness? It remains dormant in the throat and blood cells for the rest of the person's life. So I was right. Wow. But it's not... Um, there's, a, there's a scientific name for it. Mono is like the... It's called mononucleosis. Um, mononucleosis. Why? That sounds so much cooler than mono. Yo, I had mononucleosis, bro. They're like, oh, damn. That's dope. Yeah, I know. Epstein-Barr yeah. virus. What? EBV. That's what I'm thinking of. What is it? The Epstein-Barr virus. I don't sound fun. I don't want that one. Anything with, that starts with a V, I don't want... Well, there are some things. Mm-hmm. Let me pull up my notes. Let Unless me find it's on one. Unless on a cotton pony. <laughs> Unless it's riding during Shark Week. God, I can't. The bloody diamond. I can't. Um. Okay. What What are some of your guys' favorite conspiracy theories? There's some dark ones. Um. Obviously, 9/11's a huge one. Uh, there's. I, I'm baffled by some of the conspiracy theories but again if you really i don't really... think 9-11 was a conspiracy i think maybe it was a, a hijacking no i'm saying <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm saying what can i say that word what on the are podcast? what are conspiracy there's a theories? robust conspiracy about 9-11 absolutely oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. you believe it i believe it's possible absolutely that's what conspiracy is for yeah it's again you can watch a movie a doc a youtube video that will have you convinced both ways that's a conspiracy, right? People don't know. Okay. Uh, what's your guys' favorite conspiracy theory? There's hundreds of them. Um, my, my, I, I love the outer space and alien stuff. I truly believe there's aliens. I don't think, I don't know if I'll ever get to see one, but I hope I do. I hope I do. I have to pee. Should we take what a break? What about that birds aren't real? Yeah, yeah. I love the birds aren't real one. It's funny. Right? But I got a bird in my backyard that's real, dude. No, I know. Um, could there be fake birds, though? Thousands. I like the guys that record the videos from, like, base. And they're in their uniform. They're like, I'm not saying it's conspiracy theory or not, but I changed the batteries in these birds. <laughs> and they're, like, real serious. I love that stuff. No, it's it's, funny. it's the telephone lines <laughs> yeah, they are charge, what charges them. <laughs> the birds charge on telephone lines. I mean, that in, like, the whole flat earth thing blows my mind. You mean the earth isn't flat? I can't even comprehend how you believe the earth is flat. Uh, again, though. What do you mean? If I watch the right movie, I'll probably be like, oh, yeah, earth's flat for sure. But I've only seen videos that say it's not. So I'm, I'm one-sided on the that. The earth is 100% flat. I have never watched. And NASA has never been to the moon that's it for today guys thanks for watching <laughs> i've o i'm only one-sided on the earth thing i haven't given any time to do you think the flatter. earth is round yeah yeah but that's all i that's all i've been told that's all i've been told mm -hmm. that's it maybe maybe it is flat i'm an idiot dude i don't know <laughs> i mean i feel like how would you really know Unless you see it for yourself that it's round, how because would you know? Because when it's sunlight here, Does God it's, say it's dark round? on the other side. That's how you know the earth isn't flat. Have you seen the videos of like how fl flat earthers see on a, on a clear day? And it's like every monument. Like you can see everything. <laughs> no. I love it. I love that. I love that stuff. You love people picking on each no, other? No, I love that. It, like the ones that can be funny. Some of them are too sensitive to be funny. Right? Some of them are just funny to me. Batteries and birds and stuff, like, that's funny. Yeah. But people, like, sell it. Like, mm -hmm. they go deep into it. I love it. It's funny. Anyway, I can tell you have to pee real bad. I do. Um, all right. You know, I have a... Never mind. A freaking <laughs> bottle Ooh. rocket ready to... The Crimson Tide is coming! All right, for all <laughs> 11 of you that are still watching, <laughs> what's... What's another name? Could we make up a name today for that? 
make up our own I'm on my period yeah. saying? Yeah. Blob. Blob is here. Yeah, I'll leave it to the comments because I, I ain't got the brain width for it right now. <laughs> Red Alert. Did you say that one? Mm-hmm. Red Alert. I used to love that game. Um, <gasps> God, I don't know. Well, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging. Thanks Good for- Good job uh, today. I don't think you actually wanted to be here. Here or on the podcast? Both. It was a little both. <laughs> I was fine. Once we started rolling. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. We love you. Um, always throw in your two cents on how we can make the show better. If you liked us on the couch better, I like the table. I feel like we're more alert. Um, but we could switch it up. This is kind of a boring setting, honestly. Yeah, I like the couch better. <laughs> yeah, but then you'd be asleep. That was a yawn. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. 